the official launch of the global campaign to eliminate yellow fever from Africa. It's the second time the high-level meeting is holding in Africa. The WHO, UNICEF, Gavi, the Vaccination Alliance, and more than 50 health partners are here. The campaign aims at protecting high-risk populations through preventive mass vaccination, curbing international spread of the disease, and containing outbreaks. The I strategy is a bold and innovative plan to vaccinate nearly 1 billion people in Africa against yellow fever by 2026. Never had the continent seen such a massive effort against the often deadly virus. In Africa, 27 countries, including Nigeria, are at risk of the disease. In 2016, 400 persons died of the disease in densely populated cities of Angola and the Democratic Republic of Congo. And in Nigeria last year, 1,640 cases were suspected and 115 confirmed locally. Although the disease is highly treatable, the cost of acquiring the vaccine is very high and that has constituted the major challenge in combating the disease. When the Nigerian Center for Disease Control was notified of a confirmed case in a seven-year-old female at Oruago in the federal local government of Kwara State in Nigeria. Um, for your information, we actually introduced yellow fever as part of our routine immunization since 20, 2004. Uh, but for us to really be effective and to be on top, we need to immunize practically everybody. Uh, and this is a huge challenge for Nigeria. The mosquito spread yellow fever disease was last heard of here in Nigeria more than two decades ago. The latest outbreak was recorded in September last year. Since then, about 17 million people, mostly children below 15 years, have been vaccinated across Nigerian states, including the northeastern Borno state. The government is spending $168 million to acquire vaccines and says its target is to reach 25 million Nigerians by the end of the year. But the health ministry says it's constrained by lack of resources. Kelechi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.